whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. <gasps> wow. That was really fast. Oh my gosh. Well, you guys, now we know how quickly right here will show up when it is time to go ahead and sprint our way across the land. Let's trot very carefully up to the cliff side here so we can get a good view of the forest. I did not expect him to show up that quickly. That kind of explains why he has so much of the respect from the Diamond Clan if he can just summon himself up that fast. That is so cool. I mean, he's not our Pokemon to command in any way, but it is extremely useful. Okay, we're gonna dodge some attacks. Oh, I can even pick medical herbs whilst we are on his back. Okay, that's amazing. What about gathering things from trees? Let's see. Yeah, I can't get my Pokemon to come out just now. However, he will help us to scurry up cliff sides a little easier so I can go ahead and collect all of the wonderful plants that I want to get my hands on. This is going to make things so much easier. Thank you, right here. Oh my gosh. Well, all right. Hello everyone and welcome back to our adventures here in Pokemon Legends, where I am doing my best to go ahead and take care of the new family we're building with our Pokemon. And after careful thought, I actually do have a, another new name that we are going to go ahead and bequeath upon, none other than our Badoof, who could evolve. But for now, we are going to prevent her from evolving just because I really love the low level Badoofs. They're just adorable. And we're actually going to be renaming her begonia which is a type of beautiful beautiful flower that i very much love so begonia welcome welcome i really hope that's how you spell begonia hopefully it is but there we have it so you can see there's definitely a theme going with a lot of the pokemon that we have with us but i'm sure begonia is going to absolutely love her name and not have to worry too much about the fact she's named after a flower there we go. Good job, Begonia! And we'll go ahead and give her a little cuddle. Oh, she's so cute! Oh my goodness, I love how you can just spend a little bit of time like hanging out with your Pokemon and speaking to them. That is so freaking precious. All right, this makes me happy because truly what will make the best adventure out of all of this is going to be able to build up the story with the Pokemon who mean so much to us and are creating a little family with us. All right, so that said, Begonia, if you want to go ahead, pop back into your Pokeball. Let's see if we can head out. Kyoho uh, Kyo is going to be a little bit hungry for more berries. So the bushes that are orange are the ones that give us berries. So let's come down and see what's hiding in this one down here. This Starly also seems somewhat conflicted. And I think it's a good idea to let our little Munchlax possibly level up while he has to fight for his food. Oh, it's another Burmy! All right, startled Burmy. It's just a small female Burmy. Oh, it used Struggle Bug! We actually needed to see it use Struggle Bug as one of the uh, special events we were supposed to do. Oh, what's this? Power Drop. This Pokemon's offensive stats are lowered. Oh, that's so cool. So I can see the status info by paying more attention. All right, let's actually see. I think I need to learn a little bit more about rollout from watching. Perfect. All right, Kyoho is, fixi Kyoho is fixated on rollout. And now we have the Burmy doing struggle bug, which is perfect because I'm supposed to watch them do Struggle Bug to learn a little bit more about them. And I think our tiny little Munchlax, yes! But I think our little Munchlax is doing a good job because he's having to learn how to like fight for his food. And I think that'd be really hard. Maybe Munchlaxes are normally very dependent on their parent Snorlax because without that Snorlax, they would really struggle to gather enough food. I bet they don't spend nearly as much time sleeping. Yo, come on, little buddy. There we go. But I bet that Munchlax don't spend nearly as much time sleeping as an adult Snorlax does because they need to grow. All right, can we get up here at all? It looks like Ryder can really only go where we can on foot. All right, let's gather some leaks. It looks like there's something special in here. Oh, and of course there are more berries. 
But I just love that idea. I like the idea that we have to really like gather as many berries as we can every day to feed our munchlax because he's probably super hungry. And meanwhile, Poppy, I wonder if Poppy might be really good at breaking at these rocks because she's got such, or he has got such strong hooves. This is the way to do it, friends. Trying to figure out how each member of your party is special and makes a little bit of a family with you. Because otherwise, I could see how everything could start feeling the same. That's just because you have to slow down and... <sighs> just kind of take the story in as it happens, yeah? Alright. Kyoho, let's go ahead and have you gather more berries. These ones are apricorn. Sorry, buddy. I saw somebody flying over here. Is that a Staravia? I can't remember their, like, third evolution, but eventually I will. Alright, let's keep it moving. Pardon me, little ones. And... Oh, that's a Pikachu! Okay, hang on just a second. Let's see. Kyoho might be good against... Or... Er, a Pikachu, but let's see. Ryoko, Robin, Poppy, maybe not Begonia, not Begonia. All right, maybe Kyoho. I know that there is a Pikachu over here. Let's see if we can lure it closer to us with some food. Let's try an Oron Berry. Dang it, I may have... Look, there it is! Okay, so there totally is a Pikachu right there. All right, can I get over here? Hide in the grass in case that didn't work. Okay, that did not work. And I have made the Pikachu angry. However, <laughs> we caught it unaware. Yes, okay, so it's a little low level Pikachu. Maybe we can handle this. All right, let's try a really strong tackle. We've been feeding you a lot of berries. Yo, you can do it. Okay, that's just enough. He's caught unaware as it is too stunned to move. I mean, if you suddenly had the giant squish of a very large, um, of a very, very large munchlax just landed on top of you, I could see how that would definitely catch you unaware. Alright, come on, little guy. Ah, no, okay. Well, I want to try again. No, Thundershock! Okay, that's not too bad, actually. So I think, you know what? Let's actually have Kyoho use rest. We're gonna let him take a little nap and get his HP restored. He's gonna sleep and regain his HP and kind of sleep through these thunder waves. He's kind of paralyzed. It really sucks when that happens when you're sleeping. However, he might be able to go ahead and endure this for a second. Uh, let's try another Pokeball. And we'll see if the Pikachu will just kind of wear itself out while Kyoho is sleeping through all of it. Yes! And I haven't even seen the Pikachu! <laughs> Yay! All right! So let's actually review. Our Pokedex should have something new in here. So let's see, not the Gloomies. I have fought a Pikachu before, but we had not found a wild one. There it is. All right, so Pikachu. Number caught one. It's a light specimen. I mean, the poor thing. We just kind of threw a munchlax on top of it. A very well-fed munchlax, I might say. We've seen it use Thundershock, but not Thunderbolt. Uh, we haven't evolved it. That would need a Lightning Stone. Um, and it's found usually around nature's pantry in pretty much all times of day and all weather. So that was so cool. Oh, I can't wait to go ahead and meet him. But right now he's going to be over in the pastures recovering from the fact we just threw... A munchlax on top of him. Ooh, more mushrooms! Alright. This is fun. I really like just kind of wandering the fields with my little munchlax. Collecting mushrooms and berries and feeding him so that he's got plenty to grow. And speaking of feeding him and having plenty to grow, though, it probably would be a really good idea. Here, we'll grab this. And then we'll grab this. I feel like it would be a good idea to make sure we always have at least 10 Oron berries. What are what are Munchlax's favorite foods actually? Have we figured that out yet? 
let's see. Oh, we don't have enough data. All right, so we need to see it use rest multiple times. And can I give my Munchlax food? Does that count? All right, kill him. So here you are. Oh, he's using rest. There you go, buddy. Are you awake now? Can I feed you? Oh, he won't eat it. He won't eat it even though <laughs> I really want to feed him. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I just really want him to eat it, but I guess he won't he won't eat the wild berries. Oh. You're such a good little one. All right, we'll go ahead and call him back. And if that's the case, let's also see if he's feeling a little better. Yeah, he's awake now. That's kind of cute. Did I wake him up? Can you just like pull them out and be like, all right, time to get up now? Because that would be somewhat amazing. All right. Let's move very quickly. We are not going to get slowed down by the alpha today. And I'm actually going to go sideways along the beach to avoid the alpha. Also, there's a lot of chunks of iron everywhere. I thought iron was potentially going to be quite rare. The answer is no. Iron is not rare. I love how the Badoof and their evolutionary forms have actually taken over the entire area. This is their, like, home. The dam that they have built as a little family, it seems. Oh, wood! That's right, we need to gather- <gasps> Combies! Oh my goodness! Okay, I'm very excited about this. Uh, I'm pretty sure that Robin and Ryuku would kind of make short, week of, short work of these combies. Oh, do you guys want to fight? Is that what this is? Or can I catch you? Oh, they're actually pretty big. All right, well, I don't want to hurt them too much. Even though this is probably going to be really overpowered. Yes, that's exactly what we wanted! Very good job, Ryuku! I feel like he's understanding our job is to be, like, a surveyor. And he's not harming... Well, he's not, like, attacking with full strength. There's a difference between surveying and then trying to, you know, def save our lives and defend ourselves. Look, there's some dazzling honey! So what can we learn about Kumbi? What do I need to go ahead and do? It's so fun to see what kind of different, uh, different tasks we're supposed to be given. So one of the more important things we want to try to fill out right now is catching a ton of them. We want to see a bunch of them leap out of trees. We want to evolve a few of them and investigate the different flavors of Kumbi honey. So right now it looks like the research group mostly wants to focus on just trying to catch these wild Kumbi. Which we can definitely do if I don't get spotted. Oh, I got spotted and it flew into a tree! Ah, okay. Didn't know it was going to do that. That's okay. And Ryuku, you're almost up to level 20, which is kind of amazing. Oh, who else is over here? Is it some Baneri? Alright, so there's a bunch of Baneri who hang out over on the side. And then let's climb up here. There's some iron. There's just a bunch of honey everywhere, possibly because the cumbi. Oh, that cumbi's sleeping. All right, if I plan this just right and sneak up behind it, it makes so much sense that the village would really want to investigate a bunch of the cumbi. Because if you could convince a bunch of cumbi to colonize a spot near the village, they could help pollinate all the crops. You could gather up a bunch of honey, and honey is used as a medical uh, tool and as a wonderful... Here, we'll go ahead and have Kyoho help out because... Kyoho, even. Because he is always hoping those apricorns will be berries. Yes, leveled up! Good job! Oh, he learned a new move! What did he learn? Kyoho, let's see. I think his nickname, his nick nickname might be little, like, little grape, because that's what he's named after, is grapes. Bulldoze? What? <laughs> Hang on here. What do you mean bulldoze? The user tramples its target into the ground. Okay, my headcanon is when he tramples someone, he just kind of, like, launches himself on top of a Pokemon and smushes them. Uh, totally, totally what I think he's working on. Maybe it's just instinctive for... Munchlax to do that because that's one of the main ways Snorlax attacks as well. 
All right, did I get another one? But yeah, honey is used uh, to help with all sorts of medical things. Honey is also used to help preserve food. So it makes a lot of sense to me that you would want to try to get to the point where you could actually go ahead and convince a bunch of Kumbi to live next to your village because then you could have a constant source of honey to harvest. And that could really make a huge difference if you were trying very hard to just take good care of your village. Also, is that a mossy rock? Is this the mossy rock? Could I put it? It is a moss rock! <laughs> Trust your Siri to know where to find a moss rock. Thank you very much. Of course, I would just spy like a random spot and think, oh, that's clearly like a moss rock. All right, whoops. Okay, gonna get spotted by that cumby. If I'm not careful. It's fleeing. Let's try to sneak up behind it. Nope, there it goes. Dang it. All right, so Kumbi are very shy. Is this Thunder? I don't have a good history with Thunder since, you know, last time everything was thundering, I fell out of the sky, but I think we're okay. All right, let's go a little bit further. I just want to see how many more Kumbi we can find and how much more dazzling honey we can carry in our pack. Because a lot of the different Pokemon seem to enjoy eating honey. Do the Benari like eating honey? Because that could be conveniently... Let's see. Number of times we've given it food. And they do like honey. Okay. So let's actually slow down for a second and see if we can convince some of these skittish Benari to come a little closer. How about this one? What do you think? Okay, and so when you give them their favorite food, apparently they spend a little bit longer eating it, so they're more distracted and you're able to catch them a little bit easier. Yes! All right, so we've caught another one. And we want to catch a whole bunch of them without being spotted. Let's see if we can go ahead. How could you resist that tempting, tempting food, little one? Aim. Oh, I'm so proud I managed to make that. We weren't close enough for a lock on, but yes! Oh, whoa! Okay, there's an alpha. Do I want to take on the alpha at this stage? Ryuku, like, I feel like this is kind of fate. We've been wandering around. Probably not. I feel like Ryuku might want to try that out. I feel like you might be able to get a little bit lucky. Oh, you could just leveled up and mastered a move. Are we feeling that sassy? I think I might be feeling that sassy. Oh, we got a Lepa Berry at some point. Can you quell an Alpha's fury by feeding it? Is that something you can do? Oh my gosh, it is coming over. Can I, can I throw a heavy ball at it? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay. Heavy balls don't go very far. Alright. Can we manage this, Ryuku? Let's try it out. Never mind, Ryuku. It's level 40. Ryuku, run. Oh my gosh. Okay. We're going to run for our lives. Ryuku, come. Okay. No, 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 no battle. Yeah, we decide to battle another time. Right here. Oh my gosh. Ryuku, I'm so sorry. I mean, I thought it was just, in quotation marks here, just a bunny. So the fact that, you know, we ended up getting completely destroyed by them. Ooh, citrus berries. We're starting to find some new ones. Um, not what I had planned. Not what I had planned at all. And that is not how we treat family. So let's go ahead. And I know we just managed to finally get to the heartwood, but we got distracted. Back to Hyde's camp. Because that is not how we're going to do things. Alright, let's go ahead and use a rest. Uh, let's rest until morning. <laughs> An ice punch? I bet we're huddled around the campfire just doing our best to warm poor Ryuku's feathers. Oh my gosh, he's probably frozen to, like, the tea. Professor Lavington! Let's go ahead and report some of our findings so far. We've caught several Pokemon. 
we haven't caught as many new species as I think getting at least 10 is the best. However, that's a little bit more progress. And it looks like we have some new data. Yes, so we've learned a little bit more about the Pikachu. I think we've learned a little bit more about Munchlax. We'll have to see if we can let our little guy have more rest. And then Dartrix Baneri completed our research on Baneri and then Cumbi. It's so fun to see like what research you've updated. My hypothesis as to why Baneri rolls up its ears is that its hearing is far too keen. I surmise that Pokemon protect its hearing by limiting the sound that may enter its ears. Oh, that's so cool. All right, five new species. Oh, we're actually getting really close to the next rank. All right, we're gonna keep going. But all right, guys, so now I don't, don't really, really mess with the alphas just yet. And I think that Ryuku is a little bit dubious about how dangerous it can potentially be. Uh, we definitely want to probably learn a little bit more. <laughs> However, occasionally it might be fun to take on that challenge. Just saying. Occasionally it might be a lot of fun to take on that challenge. And now I know where to find a bunch of dazzling honey and that I actually have a very big soft spot for cumbies. And I would be very happy to spend my time collecting quite a few more. Oh my goodness. But I think it's about time for us to learn how to make tea cakes, which I imagine is something that our beloved, wonderful little Kyoho would really love to go ahead and eat. Uh, after all, the more we feed him, the stronger he is going to become as a Snorlax. So if you guys could, do please leave a like for figuring out more of our family and for feeding our little baby Snorlax over and over again on the wild bounty that we can find. If you guys would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, keep your eyes out for those mushrooms, and I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.